do i have aptitude to become a programmer is it true that only engineers can do programming i am an engineer but not from computer science branch will i be able to do coding over the period of 25 years of my teaching experience i have witnessed these very commonly asked questions about programming well anybody can become a programmer i repeat anybody can become a programmer this video is for everyone irrespective of age educational qualification and profession an 8 year old kid or 18 year old graduating student or 40 year old housewife or 60 year old pensioner may it be anyone anybody can do programming welcome back to shikuya i am samir velankar and i will prove in this and upcoming videos that you all have the skill to become a programmer what you need to do programming is aptitude and human intelligence the term intelligence here refers to minimum intelligence that we all have and we use this intelligence to do our daily work let me show you a program written in python programming language well this program finds minimum value or quantity from a given list of numbers note that the list has numbers 15233452256 minus 8 and 45 the minimum quantity in the list is of course minus 8 the first reaction you will have after looking at this code good lord this appears like latin or greek this is weird and some kind of text from other planet now what if i show this text oh great this is plain english text this is the idea or method to find the smallest number in the list note that you don't have to be a programmer to read and understand this text we call this kind of text as algorithm i repeat algorithm what people often do is they give importance to the python program and ignore the algorithm the python program is a by product of this algorithm the program exists because this english text exists i would stress on the point stress on the point give least importance to python program and huge respect to algorithm written in english i am sure that many of you are still wondering what is this algorithm doing and why these lines such as for every number in the list followed by if statement and so on are written in the first place and how did we arrive at such an algorithm we have to do some paperwork yes the paperwork to understand how we arrived at this algorithm let us see a list of five numbers 10 2 33 44 4, and 8 the question is which is the smallest number the answer is 2 how did you find it out the simplest of the answer is i saw all the numbers at a glance and spotted out the smallest number now let us take a list of 100 numbers shown here on the screen at once oh my god which is the smallest number now it isn't possible isn't it to see all the numbers at a glance and spot out the smallest number but i am sure damn sure that you will still figure out the smallest number you won't say that i need to be a programmer to find out the smallest number here is what you will do take the first number in the list which is shown as 15 keeping remaining numbers ghosted you will loudly say 15 is the minimum quantity in the list fair enough because you can say 15 is minimum quantity because you have not even seen the remaining numbers isn't it we will remember this keeping it this number in our brain remember 15 is minimum till now now let us move on to the next number in the list which is 18 keeping the remaining numbers ghosted you will loudly say that 15 is still minimum because the new number that we are at is 18 and it is not less than the minimum value 15 recorded in our brain so far move on to the next number which is 
oh yes yes we have found a quantity which is smaller than the earlier minimum quantity so we will scrap the earlier minimum and say it loudly that 3 is the new minimum discovered till now proceed to the next number which is 32 say it loudly that 3 is still the minimum if you go ahead number after number you will find 1 which is the new minimum after some time you will have to go up to the last number in the list isn't it and after having checked with every number it is confirmed that 1 is really the minimum value in this list so far. Now let us do a great work of noting these steps in the form of an algorithm. Start with the first number in the list and assume it to be minimum. The statement minimum is equal to first number in the list is understood, surely understood. This minimum is the quantity that we store in our brain to remember which was the minimum quantity discovered so far. Now let us move on to the next numbers in the list one by one. The statement for every number x in the list do the following is self-explanatory. In this case, x will become next number every time we move on in the list. In our example, x will be 15 first time, x will be 18 second time, x will be 3 next time and so on. So each time we are picking up the next number from the list and calling or representing it as x. The next statement is if the value of x taken just now from the list is less than minimum, if this is true, then we have discovered a new minimum. Hence, we update minimum value by writing minimum equal to x. Note this updation to minimum will be done when x will be 3. Next time updation will be done when x will be 1. And after that there will be no, no more updation made to x. That is it. Finally after having gone through all the numbers we will output the minimum. Tell me seriously. This method or algorithm is not new to you you would have done the same process in real life if you were asked to find out minimum from the list of 100 numbers. Trust me, you will get annoyed or angry if someone tells you that you do not know how to solve this problem. You know it. The important thing is you know how to solve the problem, but our computer does not know how to solve the problem. You need to teach, yes, Teach the computer using your technique which is written in the form of algorithm. Computer is a machine with immense computational power but zero intelligence. The fact that beginner forgets is I know how to solve the problem but my machine has to be told and taught how to solve the problem. Here is the algorithm and python program shown at the beginning of the video. Remember, Python program was flashed at the beginning of the video. Now can you map the algorithm with the Python program? Yes, the statements have been marked to show the mapping. What remains is that we must learn syntax or grammar of Python. We need to learn Python language. Every language C, C++, Java, Hindi or English has its own rules and grammars which we must obey and follow while communicating in that language. Python also has its own grammar and writing style. If you want to learn about Python language, you can check our courses on the website or you can download our app named Shikuya. Well, you need maximum 40 hours to learn the rules and statement writing skills of Python. Just 40 hours. Python is a language of mere 35 words. 35 words. Can you believe it? You have to learn these 35 words and their meaning, use and application. To summarize, you need to learn three things to become a programmer. What to write? We call this as logic. Well, what to write will be by default coming from your brains, the thinking ability, your aptitude. We do not need an extraordinary intelligence to develop the logic because it is injected in all of us since birth. 
How to write is the second thing. We call this as grammar or syntax. This is never difficult to any of us if we have learned the grammar of at least two languages, say Hindi and English, then it will be definitely not difficult to learn grammar of programming language. And last but not the least, treat yourselves as master and machine as slave. Get the work done by teaching the machine. I hope you have enjoyed this video and learned the basics of programming. Please like, share and subscribe our channel Shikuya. See you later in the next videos. Thank you.